Will artificial intelligence replace antenna engineers in particular? I think I'm going to keep it simple, but of course be very real because I have to protect what I think is important. Um, so I'm going to start off by saying I'm by no means uh, an expert in artificial intelligence. In fact, I'm making this video because it gets so much um, like media coverage and discussion points on LinkedIn. I thought it is important to just talk about it just from the sheer fact that it is something that keeps coming up. Um, now, artificial intelligence as such, people get the perception that it is a robot, like the picture I have on the thumbnail, um, that basically replaces the human and replaces everything that the human can do. At the moment, machine learning and optimization and those kind of things to me is more relevant and more specific to what I understand this the availability and capability could be at this point in time. Now, of course, we um, this at the time I'm recording this video, which is late May 2024, there's just been a massive gathering in Vegas in the United States uh, with Dell Technologies and NVIDIA making a lot of announcements about artificial intelligence. So there's a lot coming. There's a lot of stuff that will be changing in the, in the, um, in the near future um, in terms of computing power and so forth. So watch that space. I think it's an in interesting place to be. I'm an internal engineer, so I'm just going to sit on the sideline and have a look, and hopefully there comes some tools out of it that would be useful for us to use as well. Um, I think I my focus is, like, if you think about machine learning as another word to artificial intelligence it's a machine learning how to do things better what's the input that's something that the the guys the people who are really specialists in artificial intelligence will have to work on but on our perspective on antenna engineering perspective we have a massive database and i think of a specific tool that exists out there antenna magus it is basically a database of but last time I watched, and this is a while ago, there were 300 types of antennas available that then can be used and modified using existing known techniques to a baseline. And then you can use that in your system. I think my problem with artificial intelligence, and other than the fact that it's been overhyped so much by the media and, and you just see artificial AI being used in every second marketing theme where something has a bit of a computer in it, they say artificial intelligence as well, is... Um, what about us as humans? What about us as engineers? What about the fun and the creativity? And when we do designs, the whole package of the solution needs to be considered. So there's so much more that we still need to do to get a solution finished. And I guess my, well, no, my biggest fear would be that people get uh, lazy, um, maybe lazy and then eventually get stupid because um, – they're not thinking and they don't want to think and I hope the computer can do everything. And I think it is important for us to keep thinking about the problems, even if you have a computer and specifically if you have a computer that can take away all the ordinary, boring, repetitive work and you can get into the interesting work where things are really worth doing. I don't have a lot to say that's going to be significantly useful. What I just want to do is do a bit of a fun test on ChatGPT. Um, 4.0 is currently the, the running version. Again, at the time I'm shooting this. So I just want to run this and build myself a Yagi antenna, and I will show you how it sign of, kind of seems sensible up to a point when you ask it to do a drawing, and then the wheels really fall off the wagon. You can see, well, it's not there yet. As I said, Dell Technologies NVIDIA, as an example, is doing some incredible work in, in on the computing side. So this is going to change eventually. I'm pretty sure of that. But we need to learn as antenna engineers, and probably anybody, is to use the tool, not to say, this is the tool. I'm going to sit back and do nothing after this. We need to learn to embrace the tool and use it. And then we still have to think, okay, so this has done the baseline work on whatever you're doing. What else can I do to make it even better? But let's have a look at um, ChatGPT. So I'm just going to record my, my screen. I see it stop just there. So I'm just going to say record. All right. And I am on ChatGPT. Um now, let's just type this in. So I'm going to make myself a 900 megahertz Yagi antenna using a tool that people, uh, that's like students, and that everybody thinks this is AI. This is AI at the moment, um, 2024, by definition. Not not by, just the science is much bigger than this. But if people, your, your general public thinks AI, ChatGPT is kind of the first thing that comes to mind at the moment. So, so let's just see how that, that goes. So design me a 
900 megahertz Yogi antenna. Please, see up. I just don't want to say please. Okay, comes up with the whole spiel. Uh, designing Yogi involves blah, blah, blah. Tells you the principle, so it is correct. But as I said, that that's the Yogi has been invented in 1926. It is now 2024. So you would hope 98 years later it would be quite a, a well-known computer-based antenna. So this is not yet proving the uh, the, the point that uh, that uh, artificial intelligence is great. But it comes up with um, element dimensions. Um, it tells you building the antenna um, without going into it because it just put it out there. This looks like a sensible set of instructions. Um, it gives you dimensions as well. It starts with calculating wavelength and some actual stuff. So, all right, that is cool. The design should give you a basic 900 megahertz antenna, but that's not artificial intelligence. That's just putting stuff that is well known in every textbook together. So I'm not going to tell ChatGPT, draw me this thing. So I need more help. So I need help to see this antenna. And what does it do when I say that? Hey, that's not bad. That's actually better than I've seen in the past. Here's a detailed drawing. Ah, it, it is getting there, I must admit. It's actually um pretty interesting. It's not there because this is not what I could see here. Like it gives you only one reflector, one driven element, and three directors. So I expect to see five, five sorry, see, look at me, five lines. It is giving us one, two, three, four. I think that is the driven element according to the drawing. It's a bit all over the place, but it's not correct. But I've seen much worse. So even in the week that I've, I've shot this video once last week, and I sh shoot again, it is looking better. So it's, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Huh? I mean, it says redraw using some color, just to make it a new, new drawing. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> so <laughs> this is so funny for better visualizations the, the reflector is red yes but there's a reflector in front and there's a there's a short circuit at the top so some some issues with this design some issues it actually is um my first drawing was like that the first second one is a totally different antenna it has color you have to give it that uh, it didn't do orange, so that's a bit unfortunate, but <laughs> that's just funny. Actually, no, it's actually terrible, to be honest, now that, that I look at it closely. Because it, 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 it gives an explanation of what it does. And then it sees, well, this is totally wrong. Um, the color drawing, the elements are color-coded for better visualization. The reflector is red. The reflector is at the back and at the front, top, bottom, weird. Um, the driven element is blue. There's a lot of blue, so that's not making sense. The directors are green, but the directors are not in front as we expect with a Yogi. So it's not there. That's that's pretty obvious. Um, but as I said, do keep an eye on this, and I think something like artificial intelligence needs to be monitored closely when it comes to antenna design or just engineering in general because it is a super powerful tool and um, gets used a lot. But for antenna engineering and us as a humans, I need to keep thinking about what I can do. That is um, pretty awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Um, I'm going to spend a bit of time on follow-up videos on propagation properties in tunnels, helis and circuit polarization. And I'm also going to do a video on reflections on water because there is some interesting artifacts that come out when you turn antennas by 45 degrees. Um, I'm also planning a whole sequence of videos on the MagicQ RMS or the Antenna Radiation Pattern System. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.